and we're back at Bear Ridge Golf Club in Waco, Texas for a round. I was playing with a couple of buddies. If you haven't already watched the front nine, I suggest you go back and watch that. I'm one under par coming into the back, playing well. I've made a couple of mistakes and a couple of penalties, but I'm in a good spot to put a good round together. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, help us grow. So the 10th hole is a tricky par 5, big dog leg left as you can see, and if you hit driver straight away you'll go right through the dog leg. So really they're trying to force a layup. I've never played this course before, but it looks like you could just cut the corner. So you can see I'm trying to force myself to cut that corner. I really want to hit driver here and make this a short hole. Try to get to an easy birdie. That means taking on risk, aiming way over these trees here on the left hand side, bombs away, still at risk of going through the fairway. And I committed to it. I did block it a little bit to the right of my intended target. And it bounded into the only place that was straight hazard, which means I'm dropping, hitting three. So not ideal, but the green is still reachable. Got about 240 yards from the rough, lies sitting up. So I'm gonna take three wood again and kind of stubbornly try to knock it up there to make up for the drop shot. Get out of here with a par. And that was not my best swing, just kind of caught it clumsy, heavy out of the rough. Somehow it bounded up onto the green and left myself about the 42 feet for birdie. I was not that I mean, that he said. And after all of that, I didn't read this putt very well. I think I walked up to the hole three times to check out the grain and get a read for speed and then still stood over the ball and had no idea what I was doing. Here's Trey for his par, and that just slides by. And I've left myself this 10-foot putt for par to avoid dropping back to even par. These are the putts that keep around together, and that's right in the center. So, easy par, remain one under going into the 11th hole. The 11th hole is a short par four, a little dog leg left. You can see there's a bunker here on the left hand side of the hole. I'm really aiming over the right edge of that to hit it into the middle of the fairway. What do you want to hear, man? Simple shot, bombs away. Not a lot of trouble up there. Goodness. Block is okay. You'll be right I don't love that. I certainly blocked it off of my line so it's going to run through the fairway. But with the rough being down, that's not the worst place to miss. You're the only one on the green, though. And an almost 300 yard drive puts me in a good spot. Just 116 yards out from a little side hill lie and kind of a burned out patch. Either way, I'm just hitting the gap wedge at 52 degree, trying to get it all the way back to the hole. Here, since I'm on a side slope, I do gotta aim a little right of the hole. The face should be pointed a little left, so wherever I'm aiming, it's gonna go a little bit left of that. Did a good job there, hit that right at the flag, left myself a makeable birdie putt. Try to get the two under. Put it back in. All right, so I've left myself just eight feet for birdie to get to two under. Should be a pretty straight putt. Good birdie. Putt. Well played. And that's right in the heart. Two under par. Once again, if you like seeing some good golf, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's play good golf together. This 12th hole is a little tricky. Uh, there's bunkers all down the right-hand side. It's There's water going across in front of the green, so it's not really a driver hole. Trying to pick a club shorter than driver that you can confidently hit into the fairway. Uh, looking at it, it is kind of an intimidating tee shot, and the wind off the right, I'm trying to play a draw. So I just picked a two iron, and I'm gonna try to draw it off the bunkers into the fairway. Again, I picked a short enough club that I know I'm not gonna run long. That gives me a good chance to hit a straight shot. Let it chase. And in retrospect, 
I was aligned a little too safe. I was lined up at the bunkers, didn't draw it enough, and hit it straight into one of those fairway bunkers. And now I've left myself with a pretty difficult second shot to get on the screen that's well protected by water and other hazards. So big side slope, ball's way above my feet, so I'm choking up on my pitching wedge, and I'm aiming well right. I'm aiming about at the pin, but I'm really trying to hit it left into the fat of the green. And that came out about as expected. Not quite hit as hard, front edge of the green, but it's safe. Anything putting from that lie is fantastic. Do yourself a service when you're playing these social rounds and make sure to do a good job breaking the bunker. Nobody likes to land in somebody else's footprint. I get a little bit of joy out of making the bunker look nice. All right, so I've left myself 70 feet now for birdie, which is better than missing the green, but this is no gimme two putt. Really gotta focus and try to get this lag right, try to get the speed right. And it's the second time in three holes I've hit a terrible lag. Left myself 14 feet for par. That's not ideal. I see Trey run it past. And I've got a long putt for par to keep the momentum going and stay at two under. Just doesn't break. So it's a bogey on the 12th hole and I'm back to one under. Not the worst bogey after that tee shot. I minimized the damage and didn't get anything in a hazard, but I'd love to have that tee shot back. I just aligned poorly. So after a relatively difficult driving hole in 12, we get to a very easy driving hole in 13. It's straight away. It does get narrow up by the green, but you've got a 80 yard wide slot that you can hit a tee shot. And even as far right as that is, Trey's ball's just fine. There's the hook. So using the par golf app, you can really see how there's a ton of room at the 280 yard mark. No doubt here, just hit driver and smash it. If you hit a long one, it will roll up and get a little narrower, but there's plenty of room. Not a lot of wind. Bombs away. There it is. Hello. And that ball was tattooed 320 yards right down Broad Street. So was never going to get it all the way to the green with as long as it's playing, but left myself just a little wedge from about 54 yards. Pins in the middle of the green. Just a matter of getting the distance right. Aim right at it. Try to give yourself a short little birdie look. Oh, look at this. One time. Oh, you did. <laughs> nice. And with these short shots, I like to stay aggressive. I like to have a lot of wow. speed in the swing. That way you avoid kind of hitting it fat or having second guessing or having second thoughts with the speed. But in this case, I caught a little bit too much ball and bounded well past. And that was pretty good speed, but you could see in the middle it just kind of wavered offline, ended up on the low side. Tap in par, stay at one under. Just cruising on these holes. Nothing super difficult. Lag. Oh, I made it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just no, short. Sir. Is that a par? Wow. Is that a par? Yeah. The 14th hole is a par three. Here I stand upon this tee. I will be happy with a three. If in some trouble, I will be sad, but a birdie two will make me glad. Lord, I pray before my days are done, you'll grant me with a hole in one. Always a good little sign on a par three. This one's way downhill, so you can't see the green from this camera angle. There was no spot for me to mount it a little bit higher, but the oh, pin's in the middle wow. of the green. Strike. Cool little shot down the hill. Nothing too tricky up there by the green. Just a mid iron here. So from about 170 yards, I'm hitting an eight iron down the hill. Aiming straight at it. Too hot, you got it. My son's got a hole in one. I've got one hole in one, so it's a race to number two. And I'll have to wait at least one more day. Overdrew that one a little, missed it just to the left of the green, just a couple paces off the green. So not a terrible shot, but a little work to do here with a little bump and run wedge. 56 degree, this is my go-to shot. Hit my spot. Rolled out, but left myself a good four feet for par. So 
pretty good little shot. Should be an easy tap in par. Again, stay diligent. Don't lose focus. Give these your full attention. Move on to the next one. Stay one under through 14. On the right. Oops. The fairway extends down. The 15th hole is a really tricky hole. Dog leg left, and this fairway is extremely tight. You can see that it's wider right in this 200 yard range, so that's why I'm hitting a four iron off the tee. Not even going to attempt that long sliver of green. And even then, it is a narrow shoot. And that's well done just to find the fairway, give myself an iron and a chance to hit this green. Safe. I'm gonna go around. Hit sprinkler head. Trey, on the other hand, pulls his tee shot left and finds the trees. That's the line I'm gonna be pissed. The line I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's not. It's a tree and it's on the carpet. <laughs> it is not. And that brings us to Trey in jail. This is where if I hit it bad at you say on the camera, there was not a window. <laughs> there was not a window. Well, you got that metal pole 10 feet in front of you. That's the one I'm worried. If you miss that one, you're good. Close your eyes, swing hard. Oh, got through the window. Is it turning? Well, that's a great shot. Thank you. And that was well done. He knocked it out the back into right? play, gave himself a chance at par, ended up making bogey, but well done from there. So the second shot is much easier than the first once you're in the fairway. There's plenty of room up there by the green. The only issue here is the wind is changing directions, and in this case, it's straight into me. So I'm hitting a seven iron from 158 yards. I gotta choose the right spot to hit with the wind to make sure I can reach all the way to the green. Not a lot of trouble up by the green, so advancing it there should be fine. But with as much wind as there is, I'm going to aim at the right-hand side and try to draw it back. A little more. A little more. And that's well executed. Stayed out to the right a little bit on me, but on the green with the two hole is always good. And I've got 31 feet for birdie. Would have taken that off the tee without hitting a shot. But another hole in this back nine where I just haven't got the speed right of the greens. Left myself a little bit longer than comfortable putt for par. Will it out there? <clears throat> got one of those nerf putters? Is that what that is? Four feet. Far. Right in the heart. Well Stroking the ball well. Putting really well. well I didn't should say putting well from short distance because like I just said, my speed hasn't been great, but... If you can rely on the putter inside five, six feet, it makes everything else easier. The 16th okay, hole here is a cool little par five, kind of down the hill. It's split a couple of times by a creek, so the tee shot's pretty tough. Using the par golf app, you're gonna see that the fairway is very tight. Overlaying my driver dispersion of 60 yards, there is not enough fairway really to comfortably hit the driver. But there is room to the right if you bail out. There's just another golf hole over there. So right is the miss, but a tight tee shot. If you do hit the fairway, you're rewarded with just a mid iron into the green on a par five. So it's worth the risk in this case to try to make a three. They didn't have those. But I blocked that. Did not get through it. I think my alignment was off yet again. And that is to the right in the trees, in trouble. So after removing a little bit of debris, I got this tough little shot over a hill, through some dirt, through some trees, taking on a little bit of risk here to get it out in the middle of the fairway in the fat spot. Don't try to be a superhero here. In this case, I'm just punching it out into a safe spot, not trying to do anything crazy like okay, cut it or put it into the second part of the fairway. Just hit it in the fairway, take my medicine. Even then, I've left myself just an eight iron from 160 yards in the middle of the fairway, so pretty stock shot, get it on the green, and still have a putt for birdie despite the poor tee shot. Start it to the right and draw it back, just like I like. 
doesn't quite draw back enough so it ends up just right at the pin but that's a pretty solid shot What are the chances of that, that happening? That's always frustrating. That's the second time that's happened to me. Golf can be brutal. All right, 15 feet for birdie, so a little longer than it looks from back in the fairway, but still a chance to get the two under through 16 holes. I'm trying to think. Nymphas is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and that just snaps off at the end. That looked yeah, good like all the way, way from my perspective. Thought I had it. Oh, I thought that was it. Still, after being in the trees, it's an easy par. Stay at one under going into the 17th hole. Play. What did I do that time? What did I do it earlier? That's the first time. I hit your ball. Oh, yeah, earlier. I was there first. To be fair, that's accurate. I would say Mark. But I'm already! I, I did it! Olympic discus to mark. So. Good birdie, Trey. The 17th hole is was a long par 3 the day we played it in the app. I had it set to the wrong tee in this case. We were playing it all the way back at 180 yards. So I'm hitting 6 iron here. Wind's going a little left to right. I just never really committed to this one. I saw Trey hit his to the right, and I kind of followed him over there. It wasn't a terrible shot, but just didn't get through it. Didn't really trust the club I had in my hand. Trey made a mess of this by the tree, but then hits a chip shot. It almost goes in. That would have been typical Trey there to make that shot. I hope you hit my quarter. I also missed the green there to the right, so I got 26 yards. Again, just a stock bump and run. This is one of my favorite types of shots. I told him, I said, watch me kid. I didn't hit that one hard enough. <laughs> Left that low, and now I've got a lot of work for par to stay one under. Again, this is where you really want to close out around well, and I am scrambling seven feet. Just another fallback. Never a doubt. That putter is a great equalizer when you start knocking it offline. That takes us to the 18th hole on a beautiful day in Waco, Texas. And that's to the right. There's trees over there. Using the Par Golf app again, this is kind of a tricky little hole as it snakes around these trees on the right hand side. So. From the tee box, it looks like there's more room to the right than there is. You really got to favor the left-hand side. So I'm trying to hit it just inside the tree line with a draw. And honestly, I kind of thinned it and barely made it over the trees. It ended up running a long way and ended up in a perfect spot. But I missed that left of my target, which is a good thing because right of my target wouldn't have been any good at all. Left myself just 87 yards with a 56 degree. See if I can end this round over under par. I don't shoot under round pars often. They've been more often this season, but it starts with better decisions and of course a solid putter. That wasn't the greatest wedge shot in the world. I should have been closer than 30 feet. So on this back nine, I have been doing a little bit of scrambling compared to what I was doing on the front. Nonetheless, it's 30 feet to shoot two under par. and comes up just short. Struggle with speed all day. Either way, it's a gimme par and a 71. And of course, I'd never played before with three penalties. So not bad. Better decisions off of the tee, just knocking out those three penalties. And I would have shot, what, four under? So pretty good golf. Uh, really, it was penalties that got me. Three penalties on the card and still shot 71. That's fun. In par golf, you can add friends to your round and it'll keep track of handicaps. You can have net scoring and not net scoring. Uh, you see the Trey's getting three pops on me on this card. So kept it somewhat close once we counted for handicap. So invite your friends, use par golf, like, and subscribe.